Hey guys, we're back on EA PGA Tour Golf. Gonna start soon. Just uh, sharing this on Twitter. Okay, so what we're going to do today is continue our career mode. Um, been playing a fair bit offline, not the career itself though. I'm going to leave that mainly for the streams. I might sometime in the future, if I haven't got enough time to stream it, um, just play it offline, but I'll try not to. But yeah, absolutely loving the game so far. And they have introduced a new patch, which has made some really, really good significant changes. Still a few to go, I would say though. Um, one of the main ones is that they've taken off the uh, the put and grid once you make a putt, so visually it looks a lot better. I think they've changed the club head sizes. Some of the drivers in the woods looked a bit strange, looked a bit too big. Um, they've altered that. They've also changed something which um, I believe it was a lot of people complained about lip outs. Uh, especially on putting where the ball would go you know over the edge of the hole and it wouldn't lip in or out it would just go straight over so they fixed that as well I'm trying to think what else um the vintage used three click swing which i did try in one of the challenges um but i am going to stick with with the traditional swing for my career um one thing they still haven't fixed is the audio issue so yeah, I have to change the audio settings every time, and then when you log back in, um, they've gone back to, to default. You know, it's not the biggest thing in the world. You just have to remember to go and change them, especially if you're recording or streaming, because um, I think on my first stream that I did on the first two parts that I released on YouTube as VODs, um, got a copyright strike for the background music. Um, so, yeah, turn the background music off now. I meant to do that in that video, to be honest. I just forgot to forgot that I hadn't saved. Just looking at our previous weeks, we have finished in the top five each time. Um, had a really good performance in the last one. I mean, it says I was just six under, but remember we are playing quick play. So we only play around about four or five holes each round and the AI plays the rest. And quite often they can score um, poorer than say I would. A lot of people have called out for them to change that, and I think they've already addressed that they will change that in the future. They'll introduce more options for career mode in terms of, I mean, they haven't specifically said what, well, but I'm assuming they're going to introduce something where you can play one round or two rounds, like full rounds, but not the full four, because it's just too time consuming. Um, but we're going to jump in on the Florida Open, uh, the Players Stadium course at TPC Sawgrass. I'm going to jump into this. And as always, what I do is when I'm playing a tournament, if I level up, I'm not going to put any points into my player. I'm going to do that between tournaments. Right, course conditions are slow. I need to take notice of that because I think one of the previous rounds, the putting was extremely slow. Okay, so it's given us a decent start, one under. Through 14, so we've got the last four holes of the course. That's certainly not the worst it's been. I'm wondering, I might actually drop to a, a three wood here. Where's that going to lead, lead us? So that would leave us potentially about 150 left to the, maybe a bit more. No, I think that's decent. Stay left, stay left. So that's good. And hopefully the sound settings are okay. If anyone joins the chat, let me know. Um, So a breeze at his back as he readies his second to the So yeah, about 170 to the flag here. Wind's right behind us though. 
I think I might try and finesse this one. And with the wind being behind it should roll a little bit. Um, I don't want to put too much backspin on with these wedges. I'm going to put a bit of draw on. Helps my player. Bit of underswing, but hit it perfect. Rolled maybe a little bit more than what I thought. That's that's a decent. A I mean, twenty foot for a birdie. Quite as close as what we'd all want to finish, but still, let's bring in Nota Begay the third for a look at birdie. And these are the putts you drill when you're on the putting green. Before I remember the these are slow this greens apparently. So to go in. it is downhill, but I'm not gonna drop any weight. Nah, it's gonna miss left edge. Weight wise, okay, so it's maybe a little bit quicker than what I thought. So turn a bit more. Yeah, good part. That's beautiful. And I think that's the thing when you're not actually playing a full round, you haven't got much time to get into the swing of it. So getting used to the course conditions is uh, a bit tricky. And my player is a, a drawer of the ball. I'm going to hit this low actually with the wind being in our face. That one flirting with the left edge of the fairway. That's good. It's a good drive. Decent chance to get on for an eagle. Now, the wind being on our face should help this stop a little bit quicker, which we, we needed to. A bit below, so let's go a little bit right. Oh, I had it a little bit too quick there. Needs to stop. Oh, this looks really good. What a shot that was. Chance for an eagle. Straight at it for eagle. Just going to pretty much hit this straight. Nice. That's what we need. We need to convert those chances. Onto the uh, famous 17th. And this is going to be a tricky one to stop. So probably going to want to play it a little bit safe. Maybe draw it in to counteract the wind. And if you hear any uh, music in the background there, there is someone... I think one of the neighbours blasting music out. Okay, let's just think about this. Right, yeah, not gonna take that loft off. Now that could be really good. Yeah, that's pretty good. Inside 15 foot, I'll take that. Now I am hitting this a little bit harder, so I hope this turns. Very nice push. Perfectly played hole there. And he's going to move to four under par. Just one shot off the top spot. Okay. A 
little bit of underswing, swung a little bit too early. But that's pretty much perfect to be into the green there. Boy, a good round going here on this Thursday and that another Got 320. 330, nice. So just got 160 to go here. From the fairway. And this is a good one to draw in. Pin is in the left back portion of the green. Yeah, counteracting that wind, that should hold it up a little bit. Let's have a look. Green is right or left. So if this lands right at the hole, that's pretty ideal. Wants it to run a little bit, maybe. Oh, hit that slow. That's going to stop it a little bit. Okay, not the best. That slow really, uh, the line was perfect, but that slow did hinder us. Um, seven inches up. I'm going to play this about, I'm going to add about ten on maybe. Maybe a little bit longer. Now, we'll power through that break at the start. I'm going to say a grid line. Might be a little bit more than that, actually. Um... Yeah, it was more than that. Decent pace though, gave it a chance. Without going too far by. Okay. And that's a pretty good first round. Four under. I made up three shots there. Up at opening round 68, four under par. Uh, final look at the opening round leader, but it shows our featured golfer just two back. Now, this is where you hope that the AI doesn't screw you over and uh, go forward for the round in the next part. Well, completed an exploration, apparently. Right, let's just jump in, because um, if you check the leaderboard there, it can change by the time you jump in. I wonder which holes we'll be playing now. Because they do tend to change them up a little bit, which is good. Okay, so we dropped a shot. But if we see more of what we witnessed yesterday, we're in for a heck of a battle these next three days as we show you the current leaderboard here on this Friday. We've got a tie at the top. At okay, six so it's still six under. Am I starting on the, the course as we pick fourth? Up the action on the tee at the I don't know if it's always... I haven't really kept an eye on whether it's always like holes in a row. So if you start on the fourth, it's always like four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, for example. I can't remember. I think it is. I don't think it drops here in random holes. Um, I'm going to draw this a little bit because it will fight against the wind and it does increase our aim and air. So if you look at that middle line in the swing box, see if I hit it straight or fades even worse. Um, well, it's about the same. If you draw it, because I'm a draw player, and naturally a draw player, it actually increases their... Uh, the sort of leeway you've got, I suppose. That's a bit of a shaky swing there. Don't go in the bunker, don't go in the bunker. Oof. Rough. Be a little disappointed with that because it lands in the rough and it appears to be fairly thick over there. Yeah, that's not great. It's not terrible to be honest. Um should be able to put in a decent shot and get out on the green here. I am going to put a little bit of draw on again for the, the same reason. And it's below my feet, so it will go right a little bit. Okay. Wow, perfect. Don't want it to spin too much. That should be alright. It just stops there. 
Yep. Nah, good shot. Not bad Stay from the rough. The 15 foot. Chance. 15 feet away. Gonna add a bit of power. And probably a grid line. It's looking good. Oh, just maybe a little bit harder. Would have been perfect. Okay, Missed opportunity there, but par from the rough probably would have taken it. Now we haven't come close to winning a tournament yet. We've done well to to get in good positions, but I wouldn't say we've ever tr troubled the leaderboard. Looks like a good line. And a club twirl there, which was good to see. And I, oh yeah, off camera I have changed my clubs a little bit, so I'm using that. Uh, I've forgotten who whose golf club it is. Is it was it Bubba Watson's? I can't remember. Um, one of the golf clubs that I unlocked. I've been doing a lot of the challenges as well, so that's what I've been doing offline. Really challenges, a little bit of the online daily tournaments, um, just things like that, but none of the career mode. So this is below my feet, so it's going to go right. Wind's a bit right anyway, so I'm definitely going to draw this in. Now let's have a look. This should, he says, stop fairly quickly with that wind. Look at that finish on this one then. It's not great, but... That's a good line. Don't stop too quickly. Uh, did a bit. Um, maybe an extra club there, or hit it a little bit lower. We welcome in Iona Steven. This a putt for birdie. Yeah, and it would be easy to leave this one short because we're going back up that hill with just the slightest bit of movement from left to right. I am going to give us a decent whack. A decent. Ah, it's gonna swerve off. Yeah. Little bit of a tricky one back. A little bit too far. Maybe being a bit aggressive there. No, yeah, save the part. The part. It is a par here at the fifth, and he'll stay at minus three. Now this one, I think we're going to drop to a three wood. Draw it in. A bit slow there. Beautiful tempo to that swing, and this is going to wind up. It's in the fairway though, and a short approach. In the back right I have unlocked a few more trophies as well, so I did manage to get a drive over 400 yards and managed to get a bogey free round also got a sub 60 round um which was great so the only trophies i've got left are the ones that you would say long term are, are definitely very achievable which is set win the masters win the pga championship um just all of those sort of career mode ones um so in time we will get them or we should as long as i keep playing the game Um, do we want to do a high fade or maybe a low fade? That's in between clubs, really. Ah, do a finesse. And... Maybe you want a little bit of draw on. I want to make sure we don't hit that, uh, that tree, though. Don't hit the tree, don't hit the tree. Hit the tree. <laughs> Didn't turn out too bad. But you can see that line was a bit uh, off from the start. Good shot. Inside 20 feet, I would imagine. So a good chance, really outside chance for Betty. I think we'll hit this. Okay, so it's got a little bit of turn. 
the start, not much there, so... That could be in. And it is. First birdie for myself in this round. And he'll move to four under. Now it does tell you how many holes you've got left at the top. Two holes left, okay. Again, draw this one in. Got to be careful because the wind is right or left, so don't want to take it too far. It's a better swing though. And that's absolutely perfect. So about 160 at the hole, wind in our face, which I think helps us a bit. He's got 159 yards left, coming off a birdie at the previous hole, looking to go back to back. Now, what do we want to do? Do we want to draw it in a little bit? Do a bit of a high draw. We'll go right a little bit with the lie, but we don't want to go. We want it to more like spin right, uh, left if we can. That's a very good swing. Needs to stop though. Oh, beautiful, beautiful approach. No, I don't have my tape measure out, but that looks like you know, what six, seven feet in there. But that is an excellent approach shot. And it generates some momentum here at the seventh hole. This for birdie. Just left edge. Perfect. Back to back. Lead's gone up to seven under now, but we're getting there. I've got a par four, a uh, par three, to finish, and I think a three iron's about right. Do we want to... Do we want to finesse it? I think maybe we do, you know. Oh, but look at that. Uh... No, let's... Hang on, what's the difference between... A drive, height-wise... And a finesse. Drives higher, okay. Maybe if we put a bit of loft on. I don't know if a bit of draw helps us here. Sorry, I'm faffing here, but. Uh... I hope that overswing doesn't. Uh... Nope, that actually helped. I didn't think it was going to stop that quickly on the green. This is a 13 footer. So 13 foot, two inches up. We'll give it a good go again. I think it's a little bit more than a grid line. That underswing didn't help. Need a little bit more break as well. But this will remain a one-shot advantage. Let's be able to show my score for the next hole before I've. Uh... Oh wow! So the AI has actually got me to top of the leaderboard. Okay, things are getting a bit, uh, a bit spicy now. Nearly leveled up again. Yeah, let's just jump in. It says I'm currently tied second. But we'll wait and see what that looks like when we actually get on the course. EA Sports.
sports and the corn oh the leaderboard looks a bit uh bring you this look at the future stars in the sport of golf from the home of the players championship yeah so EC Sawgrass, okay three off coverage that's not bad florida open um well if yesterday was any indication we should be in for a okay and we're starting at the 11th as we take in the leaderboard on this saturday Oof, some good names hit up there including our leader do not want to hit a draw so there let's get out and join the fray as we pick things up on the tee at the par 5 11th that's a good strike almost perfect slow just 0.1 percent bit of overswing it which adds power that's going to end up safely in the fairway 224 this is uh definitely makeable here and ideally this is a bit of a uh, fade in I think if we do a high fade now what does that sometimes it's a bit hard to judge that's going in pretty steep so do we maybe want to drop another club Faded in so much. Perfect. Please save to just right. Go right a bit. Spin right a bit. Okay, so tailed off a bit left, but we've got a putt for Eagle. Launches down. It's just going to turn massively. Just let that ball carry and just sail towards the green. Turn, turn. Oh, good weight. Good eagle putt there. Beautifully weighted. Good weight. And just a short one left for birdie. A dead on look here for birdie. You bet. Good start though. And he's got to pick three under now. Just two back. Potentially go for the green here. I mean, we're going to hit it. Give it a bit extra there. I hope it's online. Oh, a little bit. I mean, the swing was perfect. So too close to the edge, and it's going to wind up falling into the bunker. The tee shot collected here now. A short but that's not too bad. It's it's not. That bad, really. And okay, kind of been a bit closer there, but remember, this is for a birdie still. This from about ten feet. Perfect. That little adjustment at the end there, moving it right a few inches more. And he'll move to 13 under par for the tournament. Ooh. He's still tied for second. Young keeps uh, pretty much matching me. So. I think this is a good one to do a high draw. And it probably will come in pretty hot, so. Just don't want it to go. That wind's changing quite a bit as well.
bounce a little bit, bounce a little bit. Spot on. That is absolutely perfect. Look at that first shot. That's a fun tee shot to hit right there. You know the wind is at your back. You tee it high and just let it go. Get it up there in the jet stream, and that's just what he did. He's going to love that. Ah, this is just pretty much straight. Turns a little bit left and then right. We've got to be at least tied for the lead. Three birdies in a row. Yep. And Young's, well, I wouldn't say fallen away, but he didn't manage to match us there. Now, let's have a quick look here. So that's 342 to the bunker, which we certainly don't want to do. Do we maybe want to... Yeah, we're going to hit a three wood, a bit of draw. Bit of power. Oh, except I hit it slow. Hmm, that was a bit too safe. Yeah, that was a mistake. I just didn't strike it. Now this one's definitely a... Uh, high draw sort of shot it's above my feet so it will go left I'm going to aim for the right side of the green here everything goes left so and that's pretty perfectly struck it just depends have I got the distance right will it spin left come down come down the slope come on not bad within that's 20 well feet played. Now a good look at birdie. We turn to Notabagay the third for this look at birdie. Well, and he's had great conversion on putts like this. Even when he's not close to the hole, he's left himself with very makeable opportunities. It doesn't look like he's got much turn at all. Maybe just outside the hole. Very nice. Perfectly weighted, and that's four birdies in a row. And we've got sole spot. Top spot of the leaderboard. A little bit fast and over swing. That's uh, good for a drive. Just what you want at this point in the round. You're trying to find a rhythm. Okay, 174. Hit the middle of the club face. That's what they did right there. Wins in our face again. That They'll probably helps us with this. this uh, in his face being right at the back of the green. Second. Is that going to stop quick enough? Don't spin, don't spin. Ah, that was poor. No, that height wasn't needed. That's the main thing, but from that distance, really don't want to leave yourself like a knee knocker, like a four or five footer. So this first putt's going to have to be good. Right, power's about right, I think. Let's have a look. I don't have an actual, apart from the distance, I don't really have a technique for the lines, I don't do counting or anything like that. I did try that in PGA 2K23, and it worked to some extent, but it was quite laborious doing that on every single putt. I just, it's generally a feel. Um, and this feels like a grid and a half. That looks good. Oh, what a putt. Absolutely amazing finish there. Downtown, that in for a birdie here at 15. He moves to 17 under par. So our Ooh, I'm a 17 under. The AI powered the last two holes, which is good. 
Now, I hope this doesn't screw us over. I hope, even if it just gives us a level round, going into the last round here. Current position second. Not great. Looks like it's dropped us a shot. EA Sports and the Corn Ferry Tour. Okay, so one off. Yeah, plus one a day, and and Daihui is three under for today. But we get the last five holes. It is the great challenge that all these golfers face. And because we were in the top together, two, well, where's uh, this course and trying to beat the entire field as we check the leaderboard? Or was Dan Huey is always playing for the title, no, right. including our leader? Time to get out to the action. Oh, the, the, the wind has just completely dropped. On the um, at the par four fourteenth. Let's have a quick look. I think this one's. Yeah, this is the one we made a little bit of a snake. I'm just not going to power drive it, but I'll add a bit of draw on. That's pretty good. Yeah, spot on. Looks like we're on a fairly flat lie, which is what you want. You can't always predict that, but... That's why we tend to favour the right side of that fairway on this one. Exciting out there looking for that first professional victory on the Corn Ferry Tour in contention late on a Sunday final round. Noti, you've been there, you've broken through. What do you in fact learn from a situation like this? Well, it's a two-part situation, Rich. The first is believing that you have the ability to go out there and execute and finish this thing off. And the second is just dealing with the nerves and and the pressure that go along with these big moments and being able to handle both of those components as you work through the final round is an essential part to putting together that winning bounce, recipe. Bounce. Okay. Not bad. A little bit more would have done. Pretty putt coming up. And we go to Iona Steven. And this putt's going to want to go left all day long. It's back up the slope as well. Okay, so... Giving it a little bit of power. Let's just get a feel for this. Similar to the last one. Again, I think this is maybe just shy of a grid and a half. Oh. Hey, it was just the power. The line was perfect. I had it a fair bit on. No issues there. It is a par here at 14. On the AI. Bogeyed the uh, the par five for us previously. Okay, so let's just get it in the fairway. A little bit fast, a little bit overswing. As long as it's in the fairway, that's going to be good. Yep. It's going to leave us a fairly short shot into the green. Yeah, 137, maybe just a wedge. So now from the left side of the fairway, this is a second shot. Right, it's above our feet, so we'll go left a bit. Um, let's just have a look at the different wedges here. Yeah, a bit of height. A little bit of draw. It's above our feet. Yep, so it'll go left a bit. Okay, so. And that struck about as well as you can. Just don't want it to spin back too much. Absolutely bang on. Perfect. Just the strike, the sound of it, and the ball does the rest. Great shot. Five feet now for Birdie. This looks like left side. Just crept in. Could have been a little bit further left. It's about ball over. 
by the way, he's still one shot ahead. And this is perfect for us. As long as we make the uh, fairway. Oof, this is going right, is it? Bounce left, bounce left, bounce left. Stay in the first cut. Ah, it's unlucky. That's unlucky. Long drive, but a bad line. A wicked. <sighs> Damn. Do we go for this? It's a blow off feet, so it will go a little bit right. Probably going to want to do a high fade. Going for it. Pretty well struck. That is starting right. Got to be careful over there. Oh God. Oh, oh no. Precursor <sighs> things to come. It is into. I thought that was a backstop. So with a penalty stroke added in, now lying three, readying for shot number four. That's uh, a bit heartbreaking. And what's this down two foot? Wow, okay. So what's that, 24, 16, 40. Yeah, you see, so many of these long putts like that come up short. Mm. It's just hard mentally to hit the ball much firmer. Par save. Not great on a par five, but we did well. Didn't expect it to bounce that much on the green. We must have dropped a shot, though. Now... This could be make or break here. Look at this pin placement. Going right at it. This one has a chance to be close. Oh, my word. I thought I was going to be a hole in one. I took the risk there massively just going right at it. You can see if I judge that, Ronnie, it was going in the water. And we'll get a birdie out of it. Is that going to be sole place for the lead at the moment? That is going to catapult him into the lead. It is. One hold we play. just need to avoid a bogey here. Got to be honest, I did not expect a win in the tournament yet. And that's safe. I can guarantee I won't be taking any massive risks on this approach. This pins uh, to the left. So this will go left. So this is definitely a good one for a fade. Just to make sure. Maybe not too high a fade.
Yeah, that's safe. That's all we need. Just need a power on this hole, and we've won our first tournament. Let's bring in Nota Begay the third for a look at birdie. And he may have to play a little right to left break here, just because it's a downhill putt. But this it is shouldn't about... be that much. Yeah, maybe a bit more. No. But this for the win. Okay, safely in for his par at 18. And that will make this the final round. Wow. 71. Look well, at Frank, that. I guess we can say hello world. It is a Sunday to remember <sighs> First win. Champion. The on the corn ferry to it. Celebrations ring in, that's for sure, and let the career fully ignite and start. Oh, we get a celebration as well. We will get a little there. Uh... So that should just about do it. For all oh, well, short-lived. Thanks for spending some time with us on the road to the Masters. Well, that was fantastic. I did not expect that. Like I say, I haven't played an actual tournament for a while. And we've won that one. Quest complete. Won the Florida Open. Absolutely brilliant. And uh, that pushes us up to second in the Corn Ferry Tour rankings. Now, what have we got next? We have got the Hilton Head Invitational at Harbour Town Golf Links. Okay, that's a uh, that's quite a short, um, a relatively short course, isn't it? Is that the one that was just played recently in real life? I'm sure it was. Um, and let's just have a look at the stats. So, where top wave longest drive of three seventy eight, that's massive. Fairways eighty five percent. Um, approach to the green, just over eighty percent of greens regulations and. Proximity hole, I'm assuming that's feet, so it's about 10 feet closer than anyone else, average. Par of say is pretty good as well. Oh no, sorry. I was looking at the, yeah, I was top for that one. So around the green, par save is only 58%, sand save 66. Uh, does that include the AI score though? I think it does, because I'm pretty sure that's not mine. And puts up a hole 1.7, which is pretty good. 